Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today I'm going to use my LK150 knitting machine to create fabric with bubble-like stitch. I already draw a basic pattern here. Each of the circle is A stitches wide and A rows high. And I offset them so it will create some different texture. And I'm sure there are easier way to do it. I'm just trying the very basic way so I can make the stitch longer, taller in the center and other part of fabric will be more flat. And the mark in between is just the center mark. My idea is to have the center of the circle, the most stitches, and then there's another layer that's a little bit less and the outer layer will be only two stitches. So I have two stitch, three stitch, and four stitches in the center. This way the bubble will be more prominent. Totally I have 48 stitches based on this chart. And of course you can just do part of the repeat. So I will start with four rows of plain stitches and then start my pattern. Between the two circles, you'll be A stitches. I only cut off here. If I continue, I will have more stitches here and here. So I have from left 24 to right 24, and I use the yarn that's about the sports weight, and I have tension on seven, and the upper tension is also seven. So I'm going to need four rows first. After first row, I'm going to place some weight. And I want to find out the center of the circle. So I mark it down. That's the right eight and nine stitches and also the left eight and nine. That's the lowest two stitches. I already need four rows, so I'm going to start my hand manipulation. And I'm going to hand knit. I will take the yarn off the carriage and hand knit all the stitches. For the first row of the pattern, I have those two stitches and I'm going to knit two times for each stitch. So I will just hand knit every stitch Push the needle out, place the yarn in the hook, and pull the needle back. And I will keep going until I reach the two stitches. And when I get to those two stitches, I'm going to knit twice for each stitch. So that's the first one, and push the needle out again. So we knit it twice, so it will be longer. And the next stitch is the same. Push the needle out, knit it once, and push down again, knit it twice. So we knit those stitches twice, and we can continue knitting until we reach the other two stitches for the bubble. Now we just need one stitch for each stitch. Here is the uh, two stitches again. I'm going to need one stitch. Push the same needle out, need it one more time. So that's two stitches. One stitch, two stitches. And then continue knitting one stitch to the end. So this is a little bit like a short row because we are increasing stitches. So it's better to add some weight. We just finished the first row of the pattern and now we have one stitch out on each side. For this whole row I'm going to repeat two stitches too. And when we get to the next row we are going to have three stitches 
instead of two stitches for every stitches here. So it's the same way we are going to knit it back. And when I go from left to right, my yarn was on the left, so I prefer just to move the yarn from the top and place it in the hook. It's easier this way. But everybody has different habits, so you should try to see which one works better for you. Now this is the one stitch outside those two stitches. So we will do two stitches. And then the original two stitches will continue doing two stitches for each stitch. One, two, and the next one we do the same, two stitches. So totally we have four stitches that's manipulated. And then we back to one stitch until we reach the next circle. Here is the stitch outside the center two stitches. So we do twice, we need twice. And those center two stitches we need twice. One push out again, two, and then a new stitch twice, one, two. So, so we finish the four stitches. We are back to one stitch for each stitch. That's a regular stockinette stitch. And we'll just follow the chart. And I just finished those four stitches. So the next row, I have one extra stitch here that's also knitted twice. And the center four stitches, I want to knit three times. And then knit it twice for the next one. And the rest will do one stitch until the next one. So we'll repeat here again in the next circle. So we continue to do hand manipulation um, from the right side. So I place the yarn from the right to the left, place in the hook. One more stitch. And the next stitch is the new one I'm going to knit twice. One, two, and the center four stitches I'm going to need three times so it pops out more. Just repeat three times. One, two, three. We do that for the center four stitches. And now the new one I will just do two. And we'll repeat the same on the other side. And for the next row, we increase one more stitch. So we'll have two stitches that's knitted twice, and then one stitch knitted three times, and then we have center stitch, we will do it four times. And then we'll decrease again three times, and then two times. Now we are from the left side again. We do one stitch first. One, two, three, four. That's a new one I need twice. And the next one the same twice. And then I will do three times. And the center two stitch I will do four times. And then three times. And then the next two stitch I will do two times. Oops.
and I will continue knitting and the second circle is the same and the next row is the same except we are going from the right to the left because our yarn is on the right so we'll repeat the same so that's what we have so far you can see create some textures here with the extra stitches and then for the second part we will just reverse it so we'll reduce one stitch on both sides and this will be two times repeat and the center four stitch will be three times and then will be two times again and we'll just follow the pattern between the pattern rows I have four rows of plain knitting in between so I will use my carriage to knit those four rows that's the texture So that's my sample after knitting a few repeats. You can see the texture because we increase the stitches for the circle. Those circle looks like bubbles. So if you just want to add a little bit of texture in your machine knitting, you can do it this way. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next week.